Coach. Appreciate your uh, your time today. If you want to get us started, just kind of with an opening thought on the game last night, the win over Clemson, and looking ahead to a quick turnaround playing Houston on Sunday. Um, no, just, I mean, you know, great night, obviously, but up all night with, with uh, Houston. So you guys know how I am. I'm on to the next game. Um, you know, happy for the guys, team effort, you know, to win in advance in this tournament. So it's a great thing. And uh, Houston's really good. That's what I can tell you. And it's worthy of their two seed, great coach, player of the year, Quentin Grimes. I love Sasser, their two guard. I love their point guard, uh, defensive player of the year. Most valuable player. They got their most improved player. They got every award you could get in that league. Um, their defense is elite. So um, we'll turn around here. We'll have to practice later on today. And uh, we'll start really preparing. Coach, we'll start off with questions from Jerry Cooney now. Hi, Steve. From, from what you can tell, how is, uh, how is Miles' ankle doing this morning? Um, I mean, he's getting treated right now. He's, he won't practice today. And then... Uh, Hopefully he'll be he'll be okay, but he's getting treated right now. So okay, don't know any more than that until he tries to move on it a little bit. But but again, he's not practicing today. All right, thanks a lot. Yeah. We'll go next to Keith Sargent. Steve, um, can you just break down Houston's uh, you know guard ori oriented lineup? How much of a concern it is with uh, you know not, not just one, not just two, but like three or four guys who can really uh, you know re wreak havoc. Yeah, I mean they just they got great length. I mean there was athletic a team. They guys all long, lean like Caleb McConnell's, a bunch of those guys. I mean they're the best rebounding team in the country. Offensive rebounding, it's a, an unbelievable stat. They, they rebound. 93% of their misses, I mean, you know, they're uh, they're great at attacking the glass. They're really athletic. They're in gaps. They uh, hold teams to record lows. I mean, yeah, very talented. He's, he's a great coach, obviously. Be a Hall of Fame kind of coach. And uh, they play really well together. Um, Sasser can really shoot the ball. They shoot threes. They're a leading three-point shooter in, in their league, nine a game. Um, and that means long rebounds, and they attack long rebounds. So, you know, just a really good – when you start looking at some of their offensive rebounding numbers, just amazing, amazing. So uh, uh, not many weaknesses on this team, but we, we got to play great. You know, it's that time of the year anyways. You're in this tournament. you got to play well on both ends. We'll go next to Steve. Hey, Steve, how you doing? I'm just, I'm just curious if you if you can remember what you know your first NCAA tournament win was like as a player, and if, if there's something about that can can you know really transform, uh, make it easier for you to win the next one, I mean, and get confidence playing an event like that. Well, I mean, you have to get confidence to win any game in this tournament. So you know, and our guys' confidence, you know, I said to you guys, has never really been an issue for us. I mean, you got to do the, the right things on the court. You know, last night we did, you know, we rebounded. We talked about it all week. Um, we took care of the ball in the second half. Um, in this game, we have to rebound. I mean, this team is, is the best rebounded team we faced all season. No team attacks the offensive glass like they do. Um, you know, they haven't had many bad days either. They come to play every tape I've watched, man. They come and they play hard and they will against us too. So, um, you know, you got to play well. The ball's got to go in. And, and uh, you know, we got to do some things in, in, in this game you know, to make their lives a little bit harder. But uh, we're looking we're looking forward to it. My staff's been up all night. we got a good good plan for today, you know, going in with only one day to prep. Um, take care of their bodies today, too. We let them sleep in. And um, I think our guys are excited about, you know, playing a really good, you know, Houston team that won every award in their league and won championship. And uh, if you look at some of the scores of their game, really dominated that league. We'll, we'll take the next two questions, Aaron Brightman and then Richie Schneider. Coach, it's uh, ob obviously never easy to play, you know, with one day break. But do you think the, the nature of this season with the Big Ten and how, you know, the schedule was a little bit uh, crammed together and uh, the fact that you had the Big Ten tournament helps these guys get ready uh, to play for, you know, s such a quick turnaround? 
Yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> you have no choice, but uh, I think it does. I mean, we play teams. Not many teams like this team. I really can't compare them to anybody in our league. Um, they're, they're really different from, from most teams in our league, so can't really compare them to somebody. But, you know, our guys have seen everything. They're going to see enough tape. And, um, you know, sometimes it's good to quick turnaround. Um, we don't want to overthink this thing, too. We still got to do the things that we do well. Um, and we got to share the game and stay connected the whole game. Uh, but, uh, you know, the quick turnaround is, is you know, is, is what it is once you get to this time of the year. And uh, you know, stuff is much down uh, on their throats today uh, with the information that they're going to get on personnel and on, on, on everything else. And then you got to go out and get the job done tomorrow. Hey, Steve. So just looking at the roster of Houston real quick, it looks like you guys have a big size advantage. Um, do you guys feel like that's a big advantage for you guys down low? Or? Um, you know, they're, they're really big at their guard spots. I mean, they're, they're as big as we are, certainly. Mm -hmm. We've got a couple inches in the post. Uh, they do a great job of doubling down. They, they make it very difficult on post guys. But, um, you know, and they rebound much bigger than their size. But they're long. They're, they're very they're built like uh, – Miles Johnson, they got great length, and they really are athletic. So, um, you know, you got to try to take advantage of them. You know, it's really about positioning and boxing out and getting yourself in the best position because they're they're really big and bouncy too. We'll go to uh, Jerry Carino and then back to Sergeant. Yeah, Steve, I just want to go a little further on the topic of rebounding. You just indicated, but obviously they're they're one of the elite teams in the country in that, and you. That's the number one thing on your scouting report. How do you approach rebounding against a team that rebounds well? What are the what are the secrets to that? I mean, you know, we really got to, you know, just be focused. Uh, you know, during the course of this game, they, they send four guys to the glass. They're very unique. No, no team really does that. Um, our guards have to do a great job. You know, this is a game where Jacob and, and Geo Baker and, you know, have to do an unbelievable job of, of dragging long rebounds. They take a lot of threes, too, one of the most threes of anybody we face. So that means those balls come off at, at a different different length. So our guards have to do a great job. We just, you know, we don't have too long to, but we'll get it hammered into them today. And they got to do it the whole game because they're, you know, I talked to a few coaches. They just keep saying the term relentless, relentless <laughs> when they talk about this, this basketball team. So it's a great compliment to, to Houston, it's a great compliment to the coach when someone says relentless um, about you. So um, our guards have to do a great job. You know, it's not just, uh, you know, Miles' job. It's not just Cliff's job. Uh, Paul does a good job boxing. It's got to be everybody. This is one of those games. Steve, for, for all but Jacob, that was the first NCAA tournament experience. Do you think that, you know, getting a taste of it, having that experience under you know, under their belt may be able to, uh, you know, let them play a little bit more jitter-free? How do you think that'll uh, benefit them in the second game? And yes, I didn't think, you know, I didn't think jitters was, you know, what was was our issue. But they, they were pretty calm yesterday. I loved how they warmed up. I loved how they got ready to play the game. So, um, you know, I'd like them to have a few jitters, too. Every now and then, I think that's a good thing. But... I didn't feel they were nervous yesterday at all. I thought they were ready to play. And, um, you know, the teams you play, you know, cause you to do some things that um, may look like they are. But uh, they, they played really loose. They were loose at halftime. Um, and, you know, that's what I want them to be. But when you're playing these elite teams now at this level that, you know, it's a couple of mistakes here and there. That's the difference in the game. So you have to do a really good job, you know, of making sure we don't have any of those uh, droughts during the course of the game, both, both ends of the floor, defensively or offensively. It's time for a couple more for Coach. If you put your hands in the queue, we'll go on that. To Zach Brazilier from the New York. Steve, do you get the sense that that win made you guys hungry for more tournament success? I mean, what kind of what's the sense just you get from, you know, obviously a, a, such a huge win like that, that kind of adds to you know everything you guys have done or could you see you guys kind of just being being happy just you know to get a win no i mean our guys have never you know been that way when they got here in this tournament we talked about what are you going to do with this opportunity um they were confident yesterday there was no big celebration in the locker room um i think they're excited i mean we got home last night to the hotel at one o'clock one thirty. i mean there's they're still sleeping right now 
Um, and we'll, we'll get them full of, you know, Houston information in the next few hours. But, um, you know, they were, uh, they were excited about that, but they were really excited to, to continue playing. I don't think this team wants to put their uniforms away. And but we also know the challenge ahead. Um, there's a reason they're a two seed and, um, you know, look, looking forward to it. And I think, um, I think they all are. We'll go back to Keith Sargent and then Jerry. Steve, you let them sleep in and you talked about uh, being up early. What was your night like? Um, you know, you probably weren't going to get a whole lot of sleep. Can you just uh, talk a little bit about, you know, what it's been like since we uh, since you left the building? Yeah, I mean, we got home at 1, one o'clock, I think, yesterday here. And um, we just started with film. My staff does a great job. So I was up all night, watched a lot of tape and have a good game plan for today and today's practice. And we met. You know, a few times, and uh, we got the film stuff we want to show our team, and then we're going to have some mobility. They're going to stretch out, take care of their bodies, and then we'll have some film, and they'll have practice, and then uh, we'll watch some more film after practice, and then they'll eat, and we'll grab them again later on tonight. So that'll kind of be uh, what, what their day kind of looks like today. But, um, you know, we were up. At, I watched, I don't know if I got six or seven full tapes in and then just started, you know, working on my practice plan, you know, with my assistant coaches and, and some of the things that we all kind of saw, we all kind of watched separately and then we all get together and, and uh, talk about our thoughts. And I'm sorry if I could just follow up one more, um, being in Lucas oil for the big 10 tournament, you know, going back there, does that help you at all uh, knowing the environment? I mean, I hope it does. I hope it does. You know, we got in, we played a couple games there. So I hope, uh, you know, I hope I hope that helps us. Steve, one more for me. Of, of all the uh, of all the pieces of feedback you've gotten over the last few, twelve hours overnight, was there anything that was particularly poignant or meaningful to you? I mean, I you know just just a lot of make like, Rutgers people you know really happy and you know it's a great university. It really is. I say that to you guys all the time. It's just great people. And so a lot of alums and, you know, former players, you know, Mike Williams and Corey and CJ, some of my former players here, all reaching out. I mean, excited. Jack Carter, um, quasi, you know. Um, so, it, you know, just great when they can enjoy, uh, you know, the moment too, because they were a big part of it. So just very, you know, very thankful. And again, uh, thinking about Coach Boylan too. You know, today and I heard from you know people with with within his you know group and um, always praying for him. He's one of the nicest people I've ever met, and he's been with us from day one too. So really praying for him. He's been a great radio guy for us. He's been a great Rutgers guy, a great advocate for our program, and um, I miss him actually. He hasn't traveled with us much this year, and you know, so he's just thinking about him and, and the prayers and. Um, you know, as he's recovering. Look to take two more from Richie and Zach. Steve, what would you say the biggest difference is between Clemson and uh, this upcoming Houston matchup? I mean, um, these guys are a lot bigger. Uh, their, their perimeters, especially, you know, their point guard is six foot five. He's the defensive player of the year in their league. Um, you know, um, Gorman has 105 offensive rebounds, which is an unheard of number for, for a player. Um, you know, I, I just, I think this team, it, it, they play like them. Um, they're very athletic at every position. They're longer, um, you know, and they have more weapons offensively. So we're similar in some ways. So some of our prep actually uh, we're going to talk about going into this because they're both, you know, heavy ball pressure and uh, heavy in gaps, terrific hands, a lot of steals. Um, this team just rebounds at, at a whole different level. And they attack offensive rebounds. And, uh, you know, they're very, very deep, you know, basketball team. And when you ever have the player of the year, Quentin Grimes, who could score 30 points, he, he's, you know, 6'6 six, six and, and big, he's 210. I mean, he's an elite. Wing score can handle the ball too, you know. 
really young, really talented, really talented team. Um, Steve, what do you, what's it going to take to win this game? I mean, do you have to play your best game of the year? Uh, I mean, obviously, it's you're playing a very good team. They're a two seed for a reason. Yeah, I mean, we're really confident. I don't know, best game of the year. We have to rebound at a, at an elite level. And we have to take care of the ball at an elite level. Those would be the first two things we have to do. Um, but we've done that for. We've played really good basketball teams. We played the one seeds too. Uh, both of them come out of our league, so. Um, you know, we got to be ready to play, and our guys will be a lot of confidence, you know, and, and um, they're always up to the challenge. Uh, they'll know the challenge when they get up this morning, and, uh, you know, we'll do those two things at an, at an elite level. That's what we have to do. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate your time today. Guys, I appreciate you being on. Thanks. Thank uh-huh.